Pastor Ted Haggard has a hot line to God and to George Bush. A staunch Republican, he claims he has a weekly conference call with the president and has also rubbed shoulders with Tony Blair and Ariel Sharon. Well, that was really quite a show you gave us uh, today. A fair bit of money seems to have been spent here. I wanted people to be able to worship and enjoy and to be in a setting with a speaker that's close to them. That's why it's in the mouth. And so they can be up close to me and so I can look at them. Well, it's certainly very effective what you do. I mean, it seemed to me to have all the the arts of... I mean, I was almost reminded, if you'll forgive me, of a sort of Nuremberg rally. I mean, uh, such incredibly... Well, oh, Dr. Uh, Goebbels would have been proud. Well, I don't know anything about the Nuremberg rallies, but I know most Americans think of it as a rock concert. What can I give to you you don't already have? There's nothing I can do without the strength of When I prepare a presentation, I don't just prepare to get a group of lunatics to come in and say, Oh yes, Pastor Ted, you're so wonderful, you're so sexy, I believe everything you say. I would probably be opposed to that. Here the Bible says, Who have been chosen according to the foreknowledge of God the Father. This is talking about us. We've been chosen for... What's that word there, everybody? Obedience. Say it out loud. Obedience. <laughs> Most of us, as we grow up and become responsible adults, accept that life is complex, that we live in a world of subtle shades, not sharp black and white. How can you say they're asked to think for themselves and they're told everything in this book is true? Because it's written that it's true. I mean, the evidence yeah. I presented, you can go and read this book, it says one thing, that book says another, yeah. that book says another. That book contradicts Well, the, the evidence I can present is that we have a book written over 1,500 years by 40 different authors on one subject, and it doesn't contradict itself. Whereas you can't give me two, two different experts in the same area of the field, in the same generation, that don't contradict themselves. It's the beauty of science. We have, we have lots of mm -hmm. evidence, and the evidence yeah. is all the time coming in, right. constantly changing our, our minds. Mm. Right. And uh, whereas you have one book, which you say right. doesn't change. There are some instances in the Bible where drug use is permitted. True or false? True. True. Everybody say true. But my biggest concern is that evangelicals like Haggard are foisting evident falsehoods on their flock. The scientific method clearly demonstrates that the world is four and a half billion years old. I mean, do you accept that? You see, yeah, you see what you're doing here is, is you're accepting some of the facts and views accepted by some of the scientific community. Whereas your grandchildren might look at this tape of us and they might laugh at, at, at you. You want a bet? Sometimes it's hard to study the ear or the eye and think that just formed by accident. I beg your pardon, did you say by accident? Yeah. What do you mean by accident? Like the eye just formed itself. Who says it did? Well, some evolutionists say it. Not a single one that I've ever met. Really? Really. Oh. You obviously know nothing about the subject of evolution. Or maybe you haven't met the people I have. <laughs> I don't communicate an air of superiority over the people because I know so much more. And if you'd only read the books that I've read, and if you only knew the scientists I knew, then you'd be great like me. Well, sir, there are many things that you may know well. There are other things that you don't know well. As you age, you'll be wrong in some things, right in some others. But please, in the process, don't be arrogant. We just had a rather disconcerting experience. Ted Haggard wasn't wearing any pants. <laughs>